Welcome to the Activity Call Live. Now, let's hear it for our special guest host, Eric Belair. He's a demon and he's going to be chasing after someone. I'm fired up after, after that. I'm ready for today's call. Are you ready? Woo-hoo! I'm fired up. Oh, stay in the race, learn how to keep pace, and get more business plays, baby. That's what it's all about. My name's Eric Belair, and thank you for tuning in. I'm coming from you. I'm coming to you live from Melbourne, Florida, where we aim high to enjoy Andy's pie. Right there, pie. Anyhow, check it out. Before I get started, since we're talking about racing today and the training I'm going to put in front of you today, which I hope will help you to accelerate your business to success, I got to tell you a story about about racing and about Andy Albright that I that I uh, experienced with him. About six, seven years ago, uh, Andy had just got his Lamborghini and he had just got his Ferrari. And, 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 and praise God for the Alliance because the Alliance has helped Andy fulfill many of his lifetime dreams and goals. And he's still got more to go. But he, he has these cars that are just amazing automobiles. And uh, so here we are. We're hiring. We always hire people. And, and, I, and I got fortunate, thought I was fortunate, to hire a young kid, 18 years old, happened to live in Alamance County. He happened to live in the same county as our corporate office. So we had an event go to corporate, and I invited him to the event. He came to the event, and little did I know, he knew Andy Albright. See, he played me. So he shows up to the event, dressed sharp. He's in a, he's in a nice pair of slacks. He's got a white shirt on. He's wearing these red suspender straps with a bow tie. But the thing is, is that his daddy owns like some sort of a tobacco mill up there, and Andy and him knew each other, the daddy. And apparently Andy and the daddy had had a race way back when, and Andy beat this guy badly. And the kid told his daddy when he became 18, he was gonna find Andy Albright and he was gonna beat him in a race. I had, I did not know nothing about this. But when I get to the event with the kid, the kid beelines right to Andy Albright and just gets in his face and tells Andy Albright who he is, who his daddy is. And Andy remembers. And Andy goes, oh, yeah, yeah. How's your daddy doing and all this stuff? But the kid goes, listen, listen, I want to race you. I want to I want to race you and beat you, which my daddy didn't do. And Andy goes, listen, I don't got time for you, kid. I just don't got time for you. But then the kid says, listen, listen, Linda. He don't say that, but he listen, Linda. He tells Andy Albright that he's got $50,000 that he'll put up that he'll beat Andy. Now, you know, Andy's all about easy money, (laughs) getting money. So Andy looks at the kid and says, listen, you want to bet me 50 grand, I'll be more than happy to take you in a race like I did your daddy. You name the win and you name the time. And the kid looks at Andy and says, well, the time is tomorrow at nine. No, he says, where? You name where and when. And Andy goes, You tell me when and where. The kid goes, you know where. The same dirt road you beat my daddy on. And Andy goes, okay, I remember that. And then he goes, and when? At 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. And Andy goes, okay, no problem. He goes, listen, I got a Lamborghini and a Ferrari. Which one you want? Because it doesn't matter about the car. It's the driver, son. And the kid looks at Andy. He goes, I don't need one of your cars. I'm going to beat you. Now, this is unbelievable. I'm going to beat you on my moped. Andy looks at him and goes, okay, this is a joke, right? He goes, no, 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 sir. No, sir. I've been driving mopeds since I was nine. And now I got one super fine that my daddy got me from Italy. And this thing is what you just never seen and never heard of. And I'm going to beat you and embarrass you on my moped. Just be there tomorrow at nine unless you're scared. And Andy goes, oh, I'm not scared. So the kid leaves. Andy tells a lot of the leaders, comes to me and says, Bel Air, Bel Air, didn't you know? No, Andy I didn't know. So he invites several leaders to go to this event the next day. Cause you know, Andy's got, and when Andy goes places, he has his friends, he has his entourage. So I remember it was me, 
I think it was uh, the Levin Towiches were going. Adam Katz was there. I remember Adam there. Uh, Davies was there. I mean, Davies is Mr. Money Man. I mean, he was the youngest millionaire with the Alliance. So who better to put $50,000 with? And then when the kids showed up, Andy had him put the $50,000 with, uh, with Davies. And Davies hold both bags of money. But I remember Cuz was there. There were several people there. But anyway, we got there early because Andy loves getting to places early. He says, get, them, get there early and stay late. Well, we get there early. We're all talking. We got, and, oh, by the way, Andy picked the red Ferrari. I love that he picked the red Ferrari. So he's out there waiting for the kid. The kid shows up and his moped, I got to tell you, is beautiful. I mean, it is a smoking looking moped. Ain't no doubt, but it's still a moped against a Ferrari. Give me a break. The kid's going to lose the 50 grand. So the kid gets off the moped. This thing's bad looking too. I mean, it is really totally bad looking. Never seen one like it before in my life. The kid gets off it and Andy wants to give him an out. And he says, listen, man, you don't have to do this. Take your money and go home. He goes, uh-uh. I'm going to beat you for my daddy. And Andy goes, you got the money? Kid takes the bag off the back of the moped, opens it up, shows Andy the 50 grand. Andy goes, hand it to money, man. Stephen Davy smiles and says, I'm here. And then Dave takes the, that's the money. So then Adam Katz, being a school teacher, he is, says, let's get this going. Let's get this going. and gets us all to the starting line. So Andy's at the starting line. The kid's at the starting line. And Andy looks at me and says, Bel Air, get in. I said, what? He goes, get in. He's your downline. So we, I get in the car with Andy, which is amazing because I've never been in a Ferrari before. And we're sitting there and Andy turns on the car and it's like, I mean, you, if you've never been in his Ferrari, I mean, the power under your rear end is just freaking phenomenal. And then the kid turns on his moped and it's like, and he's going, okay. Okay, okay. So Adam Katz gets, says, says, you guys ready? And Andy goes, I'm ready, Adam. And he goes, okay, in the count of three, I'm going to say go, and you go. And Adam, I think, always wanted to say it, even though the cars were on. I remember Adam saying, gentlemen, start your engines. They were already on. But anyway, so Adam said that, and then he said, go. And I'm telling you right now, when Andy hit that gas, I felt like I lifted out of the seat like five feet. I mean, it's like, whew. I mean, it's like we, it's like we took off. I mean, we went from zero to 100 and probably less than like a minute, it, it, less than 30. It was like un unbelievable. We were just smoking down this dirt road. And all we had behind us was this cloud of dust. And, and, and Andy's laughing. <laughs> and we're just going. And all of a sudden, Andy looks in his rearview mirror and he sees this little white light. And you can see that it's gaining on us. And Andy says, oh, my God, it's gaining on us. I took over, I look over my left-hand shoulder, and I see the light gaining on us. And if you see, if you know it's catching you, it's going faster than you. And it's about to pass us. So Andy, out of disbelief, just slams on the brakes. And the kid just flies right by. And he goes, what the? Well, I'm going, what the? So we get out of the car. And we sit there, wait for the kid to come back. Whatever reason, it takes about 10 minutes to come back. But he gets back. We, we don't know why it took him so long. But he comes back. And this kid is as white as a ghost. He's going, and he pulls up to the car. And Andy starts asking all sorts of questions. You know, Andy, it's important to ask questions. You know, what kind of engine's in that thing? Where'd you get that thing? Who designed that thing? How light is that thing? How heavy is that thing? And, and the kid goes, Mr. Albright, I don't know the answers to any of those questions, but can I have my suspender strap off your side view mirror? Unbelievable day. Anyhow, let's get to some training, okay? Let's get to some training. Stay in the race, learn how to keep pace, and get more business place. So check it out. We have a simple formula, folks. We have a formula here at the Alliance. You heard Stephanie Rodriguez talk about it the other day on one of our training calls. We've had many, many, many training calls on the eight steps to success. What I got to tell you is our leaders, you see the leaders, and I can tell you that when you see the leaders, they're following the eight steps to success relentlessly. They don't take the eight steps to success lightly. They become a part of who they are, and that's what they do, right? So we have a formula of success, and the best copycat wins. The best copycat wins. 
find the ones leading from the front and copy what they do. And one of the things they're doing is they are working those eight steps to success relentlessly. If you don't know what the eight steps to success are, one, you can find training on it on Alliance University. Two, you can get Andy's book called The Eight Steps to Success and read it. And three, the most important thing is start to execute it. The eight steps to success is a difference maker when it comes to you winning a race or winning any race that we run here at the Alliance. Now, I will just point out this. None of our leaders ever miss a national event. None of them. That's one of the eight steps. You're not going to see us miss a national event. Matter of fact, I wasn't even considered a leader when I first found the Alliance, but I knew the importance of getting to an, an event as major as a national event. And I was broke as a joke when I found the Alliance. Uh, we had just lost everything. If you haven't seen my story, go look at YouTube, pull up Bel Air Crossroads, get ready to ball your eyes out because I've been through it. I was burned down to nothing. And then we just came back, praise God, to Andy Albright and the Alliance. But to get to our first event, we had to sell my wedding band off of my finger and my wife's wedding band off of her finger. And that's what I'll say. And you go watch the rest yourself at the, at the, uh, on the video that Andy was kind enough to make of our story about how we came from ashes and back to life. But anyhow, they invest in their business. They invest in their business for selling and recruiting. They make and work a schedule. You're not going to find a leader in our company who's in the front without a schedule, without a calendar. They set goals. They set goals. Did you know, listen, everybody has access to this vehicle. Everybody has access to this winning high performance vehicle. Andy Albright has thrown you the keys. You have the same vehicle that I have. The difference is, are you driving it? And how are you driving it? And are you listening to the ones that have been driving for quite a while? Understand? We all have access to this car, this vehicle to success. Some of us are just driving better than others. But the ones that are driving better than others are trying to teach the ones that aren't driving how to drive and go around that track and go around that track. Listen, did you know that in NASCAR, all the cars by rule are made alike. So it's not the car that wins the race. It's the driver. And what are you doing to drive better? What are you doing to work smarter, work harder, and get out there and learn from your mistakes? Check it out. Listen, I read the Bible, and I know the Bible talks about boxing. I know the Bible talks about wrestling. I know the Bible talks about racing. There's definitely, I don't remember the exact section or the, 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 you know, how some people like my brother, who's a preacher can say the, you know, the, the exact book and then the exact pro, you know, the verse and the, oh, it's crazy. I don't have that kind of memory, but the Bible says when we race, we should race to win. We should race to win. And the Bible also says we should race in such a way that we glorify God. I just wanted to throw that in there because listen, that's my faith. And I know when I get up every day, I'm working for the man. I'm working for the man. And I want to make sure that I'm putting everything in I can to get faster, to get better, to achieve more, to do more, to help more, to give more. Anyhow, we all need to know the importance of STP, baby. STP, good for you and good for me. STP, what is it? See the prospects. We gotta see the prospects. We gotta see the people. You gotta get out in front of people. The more people you get in front of, the more people you can help, the more people you can serve. STP, baby, get in front of the people. Get in front of the prospects. You gotta sell the products. 
you got to sell the products. When you get the opportunity to get in front of the people, you got to now sell the products. Sell the products that will blow their socks off. Sell the products that will bring you more prospects. The referral-friendly products that we have in our arsenal of weapons. The products that will approve people where other companies told them they couldn't get approved. Sell the products. See the people. We've got to set the pace. You've got to set the pace. I've got to set the pace. Hell, look at Andy. He set the pace. He set the pace. We've just got to keep hit, keep up in this race with Andy Albright. we got to show the plan. We all need to know how to show the plan. STP, baby, show the plan. And we need to show the passion. Come on now. you got to show the passion. The passion. And that's what, that's what gives you your identity, right? What's your level of passion? What's your level of passion when it comes to serving others, when it comes to helping others? What is it? You need to, listen, this, when you're going around this track every day, day in and day out, you need to know there's things you need to stop doing. And you know what those things are that you need to stop doing that will speed you up that will help you go faster, that will help you to achieve more. You know what it is you need to stop doing. And if you don't, I'm going to remind you of some things. And you need to start doing what you know you need to start doing. And one of those is following the leader, keeping pace with a leader, and doing what that leader does. Check it out. I say go, go, go. Catch that cash flow below, baby. I say go, go, go. But here's what you got to stop doing. Stop spending time with people who don't believe in you. Stop, for the love of God. Stop spending time with the people who don't believe in you or don't believe in what we do. Get away from the naysayers. Get away from the people that say, get a job. Get a real job. You know, before my mom died, before my dad died, my mom, even though I bought her a new car with Alliance money, even though I bought him a, a new house with Alliance money, even though I took care of them with Alliance money, my mom would tell me I'm working too hard and why don't I go back and get a real job? Because she knew I was at Circuit City before I went into cell phone business. But are you kidding me, mom? Are you kidding me? This is a real job. It's my job. And I love what I do, and it shows. But anyhow, stop thinking about doing it and start doing it. I love Andy's got an analogy about three doves sitting on a telephone line. And the three doves look out at the world, and two of them decide to fly away and live a better life. And Andy looks at us and says, how many doves are on the telephone wire? And some of us say one. And Andy says, no, three. Just because they decided to fly away and enjoy life doesn't mean they did. You need to do the activity. You need to put in the activity. You need to stop thinking about dialing and do it. You need to stop thinking about investing in leads and do it. We're going to get to those starting things in a moment in the next slide, but stop listening to the people in the same bucket as you. Don't be a crab. I hope you've heard of the crabs in the bucket. Right now, you're in a bucket, and you want to get out of that bucket, and you want to become something more, do something more, be something more. When you're in a bucket with other crabs, they want to keep you in that bucket. And this is real life science. You take crabs and you put them in a bucket, none of them ever get out. Because when one starts to get out, the other ones keep pulling them back in. They like that family of misery. Don't get stuck in a bucket of crabs. Stop doing things that you know, you know, are in the way of your goals. Come on, you know. Like, listen, we're going into Memorial Day weekend. I'm working Monday. I've already got two appointments for Monday. 
They're both Medicare appointments. She and I did. I called up some of the Medicare companies. I said, are you open on Monday? They said, nope. I went, damn it. Just in case I needed to call them for something. They're closed, but I'm working. Don't let things stop. Listen, you can't tell, but this hand had carpal tunnel on it last Friday. I'm using it. I'm, I'm, I'm able to write with it. I had carpal tunnel with it last Friday and I'm fighting through the pain. I got stitches down the vein, whatever you want to call it. And I'm getting this one carpal tunneled next Friday. And I'm getting stitches taken out of this one on Thursday. I'm not trying to brag or boast, but the day I had this surgery done, I had three appointments that, that afternoon. Now they were phone call appointments and Bobby's going, what are you doing? You're not allowed to do anything for 24 hours. You, you're on drugs. Hey, one of those appointments I found an annuity, didn't do anything. Second appointment is a follow-up for October. And the third appointment, I enrolled them in a Medicare deal because I was coherent. I was good enough. And the next day, because I couldn't uh, dial because I was still in some pain, but I already had two appointments and Bobby had to drive me to those appointments. I had a plan, baby. I had a plan. And on Monday, I already had appointments and Tuesday I had appointments. And I drove through those appointments. By the way, the doctor asked me what I did for a living. And I said, I am a professional moneymaker, helping families with life insurance, helping agents become better at, you know, making money, selling life insurance and annuities. And I write a lot of business. And he says, well, by getting this surgery, you'll be able to write more. And I said, dang, all right, baby, let's get her done. I ain't waiting until December. Let's get her done. <laughs> so anyhow, check it out. These are the things you need to start doing. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what leader you're following. But I believe if you're following a leader that I'm going to show you the leaderboards, they're going to agree with all of these start doings. You got to go, go, go. You got to start investing in leads. You got to start investing in leads. Stop thinking about it. Stop considering it. Stop wondering how much you should invest and just do it. Just do it. Leads lead you to people who need you. And that leads you to success. Invest in leads. I used to invest $300 a week in leads. Foolish man I was. Young kids come into this thing. Our training's better. We got more products, more carriers. They start out investing me. They start out producing me. Because again, it ain't. It, it, we all have the same vehicle. And they were just blowing, blowing through more nose than I could. They were blowing through the nose more than I could because I didn't have as much people as they were getting in front of. So I said, Andy, that ain't happening no more. And I started to invest in 1,500 leads in a week. And now listen, if you want to find somebody that's going to out, out invest me, fine. Find somebody that out invest me. But when you decide to invest more, you're making a decision, damn it, to work more. And if you're willing to work more, I guarantee it, you're going to make more. I guarantee it. Next, start to dial. Don't buy the leads and let them sit there. Dang it. Start to dial. Start to smile. Start to go that extra mile. <clears throat> Rev it up, baby. Rev it up. Start to hot knock. Not everybody's going to answer the phone. They're not guaranteed to answer the phone. Nobody ever told you that every single lead would answer the phone. That's not been said. So you need to be ready to go to their home. And that's called hot knocking. Start to book appointments, folks. When you book one, I love this Facebook post the other day by somebody who talked about one of their new agents who wrote a uh, $1,000 in AP. And he said in that post, if you can do one, you could do a thousand more. Because like Andy Albright says, wash, repeat, rinse. What, what, wait, wash, rinse, repeat. Wash, rinse, repeat. Wash, rinse, repeat. Wash, rinse, repeat. Come on, man. You do it once, you can do it a thousand times. Start to use the ATM. Have your ATM ready. Start to use a green sheet. Find annuities. Get BAM involved. They're one of my sponsors. Getting paid big time to have that right there. Thank you, Chris. Anyhow, start getting referrals. Start getting referrals. If you're a difference maker and you're a blessing, you know what? I want you to ask for referrals. Please ask for referrals. Please, for God's sakes, ask for referrals. You deserve it. You've earned it. They trust you. They're buying from you. It's your God-given right to ask them if they know anybody else that's going to die one day. It's your God-given right to ask if they know anybody else that needs to protect retirement money. 
It's your God-given right to ask them if they know anybody else that needs an opportunity to make some extra money. It's your God-given right to ask if they know anybody else that needs Medicare or is on Medicare and needs a Medicare review. You're allowed to ask for referrals. But even when you don't, when you're as good as you are doing what we do, helping people and being a blessing, your phone will start to ring out of the blue. And boy, oh boy, we make a lot of outbound dials. But when my, my phone rings out of the blue because of what I do, <laughs> ooh, it just gives me shivers because I love it when people call me and want me to help them because I help their friend. I help their relative. Listen, I got to tell you, you start doing this, days of thunder are coming for you soon, pal. Days of thunder are coming for you soon. Drop the hammer and get her done. Now we're on to the start doing is getting the conference calls. You got you to get on all these conference calls. If you're not on our weekly conference calls, you got to check yourself before you wreck yourself. You got to make sure you get to our weekly hotspots. And I'm going to show you how to find those hotspots in just a second in case you don't know how. You got to make sure you get to our boot camps. You got leaders across the country always advertising boot camps. I'm doing a boot camp today at my office from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. You need to know about these events that are going on. To, the more events you get to, the more training you get to, the quicker you'll become a success. You need to get to our national events. Oh my God, I. We have a major national event coming up here in July called Family Reunion. And Andy Albright, Andy Albright doesn't need to be at that event. Andy Albright could just be relaxing and chilling out there in the world doing whatever he wants because that man has made more mint than I can imagine. But the fact of the matter is he's going to be there. He is going to be there in July. And that's no lie. And I would recommend you get there and meet this guy because he wants to help you to fly high. I like saying that, fly high. Anyhow, listen, you got to get ready for, for the national event. And I'll, and I'll get to that in just a second. But this is important. I like to refer to our national events as pit stops. And you need your, you need your pit stops everybody needs a pit stop. But some people try to outthink the system. Some people sit there and think, no, I don't need to change my tires right now. No, my engine's still purring like a kitten. No, I don't need to do this right now. You know, I remember when I was broke as a joke, you know, I was going past my oil change time, way past my oil change time, but you can't do that. It's bad for the car, bad decisions, bring bad results. And you don't want that to happen. I'm telling you right now, you don't want that to happen. So what happens here is that when you get into a, when you get into a pit stop, the main person at the event that I love is Andy Albright, because he's up here and he's always trying to keep you in alignment. Andy Albright wants you in alignment. He, listen, I'll never forget the story that Andy Albright told me, because I told you Andy Albright likes to race. If you remember um, the beginning of the call, I told you that really cool story about Andy Albright um, racing this kid's daddy and beating him. But Andy Albright, you know, told me another story about where him and Cuz went to a NASCAR experience, something that I've wanted to do. Luckily, I got to do a BMW experience recently. Thank you, Medico. And I got to have uh, Mike Leventowicz and Noel Leventowicz with me and the uh, bars with me because we had won this event out there in Palm Springs, California about a month and a half ago. Pretty, pretty terrific event. But anyhow, Andy Albright did a NASCAR experience, okay? Andy told me the story that the NASCAR driver, because it's a real NASCAR driver that gets in front of you, and Andy didn't pay for the experience, then he just drives along with the driver. Andy paid for the experience where he gets to drive his own car behind the driver. So they put Andy in a car, in a NASCAR freaking car, okay? That's called money right there, baby. So anyhow, Andy, the guy tells Andy, listen, we're going to go as fast as you can go based on you copying me. The more I see you doing what I do and copying what I do, the faster I'll go, which will be the faster you go. So Andy goes, let's go. 
So Andy, the guy, Andy tells me how he was in alignment with the guy. He, if the guy went to the left, Andy went to the left. If the guy went to the right, Andy went to the left. All right. When the guy, you know, sped up, Andy sped up. Andy was just on his, it's like you wouldn't believe, just, just being right with him the entire time. When this experience ended, this guy, this driver, this professional freaking driver, apparently told Andy, you have gone faster than anybody else I've ever had in this experience. And the reason why is you copied me the best. You followed me the best. You did exactly what I did the best. So our leader, our leader is also a great follower. He's also a great copycatter. What an example to copy and follow. So I'm telling you folks, this, this, this game of racing that we're in, as we're speeding around the racetrack, we need to find the people and get with them and copy them. We have no secrets here. We want you to know what we know. When you get to family events, I mean, your family reunion, which you better go. Because the ticket's going to go up in five days. Right now, it's um, $249. And in five days, that ticket price is going to skyrocket. You do not want to spend more money when you can spend only $249 by May 31st. And stop thinking about getting the ticket and get the ticket. Okay? Now, you're going to have the 11 Toaches on your pit crew. They want to talk to you. You don't have to be on their team. You can walk up to them and ask them about your, their quest, a question for them, about what, your, what they did this or how did they do that. You know, you're going to have Robbie Kraft. You're going to have Clay Murtis. You're going to have them there. You're going to have, you know, me there. You're going to have Megan Wood there. You're going to have Terry Edwards there. You're going to have Andy Riddle there. You're going to have other people that you can walk up to. You're going to have Burlington Alliance Capital Management Group there. You're going to have carriers there. You're going to have Jeff Schultz there. You're going to have people you can walk up to and ask a question to. Go to Family Union and it will change your racing experience into being a winner. Don't delay. Register today. Let me show you how. So basically, what you do to register for Family Union, all you've got to do is go to the website, hold on a second, let me show you the website here. Go back to my home screen. Chromium, is that it? Let me go ahead, plus, got to go to, let me get my keyboard. It's the Alliance, the Alliance, oh, it's right there, allianceevents.com. Look at that. You go to the allianceevents.com. And you scroll down, and there's your family reunion buy ticket invite. Buy your ticket today. Don't delay. This is something I have to say will give you a huge payday one day. So, by the way, check it out. I want to show you something else about our ARC website. So you go to ARC, arc.ales.com. It's a great website. I love this website. That's why, um, I, 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 you know, Robbie, Robbie decided to sponsor my team, you know, the Bel, Air, the Bel Air Bulldogs. He decided to sponsor me. You wouldn't believe what he's paying me to have this year. But, hey, I love my sponsors. But, anyhow, check it out. So, when you're on ARC, you can scroll down. Andy doesn't hide our leaderboards. He wants you to know the different races that are happening out there. This is a race. This is a race. This is a race. This is a race. We have a lot of races. And the question is, is where are you placing in the race, right? Where are you going to place in this race? So check out this race. This, well, this, I won't show that one. Let me show, let me show the year-to-date leaderboard race. So you go to the year-to-date leaderboard race, and I'm going to show you the leader. Look at this. This is the people that you get to meet at July. This is the people that you get to go up to and ask a question to. This this is your pit crew. This can be part of your pit crew experience. You've got Megan Wood, number one in the company. Terry Edwards, number two in the company. Jeff Schultz, number three in the company. You got Marcus Richardson, Carl Richardson, number four in the company. You got Sue Love, number five. Joseph Two, number six. You got Eric and Bobby Belair, number seven. Seven? You think I like being seven? Coming after you. Coming after you. Anyhow, so you got Stephanie and Rodriguez, number eight. You got Kyle and Nina Harry, number nine. And coming in in the top 10, you got Eric 
F coming in at a top 10. I love the way that he, he has them in gold, that the, the corporate office puts them in gold. Easy and bold. You can see who they are. And that's who you get meet at these events. Get to the event. Don't please do yourself a favor and get to the event. So check it out. This is also cool. So when you get out of this one, you can also go and check out another leaderboard. So when you go back to the home and you decide you want to look at another leaderboard, check this leaderboard out here. Whoops, wrong one. We go back to here. Check out this leaderboard. So you can scroll down. You know, you got you can hit page number two. You got the Medicare leaderboard. You click on the Medicare leaderboard. I love the Medicare leaderboard. You know why I love the Medicare leaderboard? If I could show it to you, I love the Medicare leaderboard because I'm number one. <laughs> Uh, hey, listen, it's it's nice to be number one at something, right? I'm number one in the Medicare leaderboard. Man, it ain't pulling up. Anyhow, that's my luck. But anyhow, so check it out. You go back and you've got other leaderboards. You've got uh, you've got the um, annuity leaderboard. You can go back to page number one. You've got the New Zealand leaderboard. These are people you want to get in front of. These are people you can see. These are different races. I'm in every race. I like to be in every race. I'm placing in every race. There ain't no doubt I'm going to find my place in each one of these races. Check this one out. This is a per this one hits home for a reason. You go up to team and you click on month to date recruits by agency manager Bay Shop and above. You click on that right there and it brings up the amount of people that our company is hiring by Bay Shop of agency manager or above. And right now, month to date, Olga and Jason Mathis have 19 in width and they have three in depth. Now, this one hits home for me because of this. And I was talking to Andy Albright about this yesterday. We hired our daughter, Kat, back in February because we needed a new recruiter because we had lost our other recruiter. And you definitely need a recruiter. I think you need a recruiter. You can't do everything all the time, anytime. You got to help. You got to find people that can help you do the thing. So we hired Kat, my daughter, our daughter, and she started not out so hot. But as time went on, training went on, Clay Murtis gets involved, Zip Recruiter has come back stronger than death, and all of a sudden, things start to hum. Her engine starts to purr like a kitten, and her name's Kat. And in May, she hired 12 in width to Bobby and I. We were fired up out of my mind. We haven't hired 12 in width in a long time. Come May, this was April, I'm sorry, this was April. Come May, on May 3rd, we already had three people for the month. So she was going to end up beating the month before big time. We were excited, fired up out of my mind. We even told her, listen, if we end up number one in the company uh, and with, we'll give you a $250 bonus. But then around November 5th or 6th, something tragic happened. Our son-in-law, her husband, Freddie, had a major stroke. Now, he's older than she is. He's older than me. She married an older man. He's 60. They have a six-year-old, they have a 17-year-old, and they have a. she's got a 26-year-old stepson with him. But he had a major stroke, and he can't work. He works full-time. He can't work. He's lost his ability to speak. He can't speak anymore. He's got to be retaught that, relearn that. We pray to God it will happen. He actually lost the ability to use his right side, but that came back. But the speaking has not come back. And he's been laid up in the hospital still ever since because of issues with his heart and, and a carotid artery replacement on this side. And this side, they can't touch it because it's calcified. Cat's just, her, her world is spinning out of control. Her car is spinning out of control. Something came into her lane. Something came into her racetrack and caused havoc. And, and, and now it's causing me pain, not just the emotional pain, but the business pain, because I don't got a recruiter. And, and it's my fault. And it's, because you know why? I talked about it earlier. Bobby and I knew we needed a second recruiter. We wanted a second recruiter. We had the money to invest in a second recruiter. Cat was starting to hum, and we figured she could even train the second recruiter. You know the problem? You know what the problem was? We spent too long thinking about it. We spent too long thinking about it. And now we don't have Cat to train the recruiter, and now we've got to find it. And, ah! But hey, you can be more prepared. I'm, I'm giving you a lesson here. Be prepared, know what's going on and know how you can get ahead of it, right? So I would definitely tell you to please do your thing and get to family reunion. You've got to get to family reunion. This event will provide a major tune-up, a checkup from the neck up. 
If you, if you have not already registered, register today. Please register today. You know what? I'd like to say, if you register today, May 26th, are we on? Are we on May 26th? I don't even know the day. What's today's date? Today's the May 26th. If you register today, man, I'd love to know. Text me at 321-262-4163 and say, Eric, man, I did it. I did it. I took action. I didn't just think about it. I didn't just talk about it. I took action and I'll see you there. And I'm going to be at family reunion this year. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. So anyhow, check it out. With regular training, regular training and tune-ups, we can all become champions, baby. You could be a champion. I could be a champion. They could be a champion. He could be a champion. She could be a champion. We all can become champions. We want you to become a champion. We want you to champion our cause, our crusade to help more families across America with the best rates and products on life insurance, with great Medicare planning, with great retirement protection. Come on. We want you to champion what we do and become a champion at it. Just be a great copycat. Come on now. So check it out. This is something we all need to know, though. The race is not over when you become a champion. No, 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 no. The race is not over when you become a champion. The race has just begun. The race has just begun. Because you need to help others do the same, baby. You need to help others do the same. You know how the, the best way for you to help others become champions? is be a great cheerleader, be a great communicator, Re tell them to do the things they need to do that you did to help you become a champion. Just advise them, guide them, give them the information to help them make that transformation to getting to the top of our organization. You can't force somebody into that transformation, but you can certainly give them the communication and that will either aid them or not getting them into the transformation they need to get to the top of the organization. It's actually up to them. But the fact of the matter is, remind them of the conference calls, remind them of the hotspots, remind them of those things. By the way, we talked about getting the hotspots. If I didn't show you that, which I think I did, but if I didn't show you how to get the hotspots, we can go back to that for a second because hotspots are very important. Like I, I don't know if I already said it as well. I'm having one here. Um, I'm having one here today at my office, and it's going to be off the chain from 12 to 4. We're doing a boot camp. So let me just go ahead and go over it real quick again in case I didn't go over it. You go back here. You go down here. You scroll down here. Oh, I love that sound. I love that sound. You go down here, and you, you go all the way down. You click on hotspots. This tells you where the leaders are at. This tells you where the heat is at. You go to these hotspots. I'm having one in my office today. Gina, Gina Hawks is joining me. You can get to Gina Hawks in Aurora, Colorado at the end of the month. You can get to Terry Edwards at the end of the month. He'll be in Raleigh, North Carolina. Gina Hawks again in Reno, Nevada. Oh my God, if you haven't been around Gina Hawks, if you don't know who Gina Hawks is, not just meet her at a, at a hotspot, but get to July's family reunion. Oh gosh, I can't. I can't. Andy Riddle's going to be in Tampa, Florida on June 1st. I keeps going. The list keeps going. Jason and Olga Mathis, Andy Riddle, the money man, the money man, the youngest millionaire with the Alliance. He got to be a millionaire at age 25 because he knew how to follow Andy Albright. Man, come on. Stephen Davies. So anyhow, that's, that's, that's the ticket there. Let's go back to our slide. So search for a champion. How do you search for a champion? You search for a champion by running an ad. You search for a champion by joining President's Club. You search for a champion by uh, hiring a recruiter. You search for a champion by getting on ZipRecruiter. You search for a champion by setting the example. You search for the champion by sifting and sorting, like Marcus Seta says. You search for a champion by working where the copycats are. Again, like Mark and Andy Albright both say. Work where the heat is at. Work where the motion's at. Work where you're deserved, not where you're needed. Work where the people are following you. That driver in front of Andy Albright would not have worked as hard to get Andy to go as fast as anybody's ever gone behind him unless Andy was worth that. 
And he gave it when he gave it because he saw Andy giving it when Andy gave it. You see what I'm saying? Get the family reunion. Make sure you get to our meetings. Make sure you get on our conference calls. Get to those pit stops. It's going to help your business. And then search for champions and get them to do the same. Search for champions and get them to do the same, people. It can happen. Imagine a team of driven winners because of all the work you put in. I mean, this, this is an amazing team. I mean, imagine these professional drivers that are all great copycatters that are out there going around the track just like you, you, you do, just like you showed them you do, and they're becoming winners just like you've won. Imagine that kind of a driving team. Imagine that. This is what Andy Riddle's got. This is what the 11 Toaches have got. Come on, you can get there. I can get there. This is what Davies has got. We can get there too. It just takes more doing the do. Come on now. In racing, when you see this flag, it means the race is over. Here, the race is never over. We always have people out there that can use our help. It definitely feels nice. Oh, yeah, it feels really great to have a nice day or to have a great week or to even have a great month. But remember, we are in this business of being a blessing, a difference maker in other people's lives. The race is never done, even though you feel you've won. Come on now. Let me tell you what that means. I've got people that sit there and say, oh, I don't need to go to trainings anymore. I don't need to get on conference calls anymore. I don't need to go to national events anymore. I got this. I'm already a winner. No, 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 no. You always need a pit stop. You always need to be in a development mindset. You've always got to be willing to get better, to be better and do better and to achieve more so that you can do more, so that you can help more and give more. Never, ever, ever think you are there and arrive because that's when it all will collapse around you. The race is never over. Yes, it's nice to see that checkered flag every now and then. Yes, it's nice to see it at the end of a month or at the end of a week or the end of a year, but it's never over in what we do. There's too many people out there that we can help and be a blessing to. Come on now. We do take time to enjoy our victories. For those of you who consistently are in the race day after day and week after week and month after month, there is no doubt, no doubt, you will join us in the greatest victory lap we have. We call it a trip of a lifetime that we happen to do every year. We do a trip of a lifetime every year. And those of you driven to succeed and help people in need, We'll see you there, and that's in New Zealand next year. Come on, folks, you can get there. We want you there. By the way, by going to Family Reunion, Andy Albright is going to give you bonus points to get to New Zealand. Are you kidding me? He's <laughs> Now he's basically just giving the trips away for those people who want to come out and play. Come on now, you got to be in the game to win the game. You got to be in the race to win the race. Remember what I said at the top of the call. You got to put the pedal to the metal. You got to rev it up. You got to speed it up. And you've got to, listen, I, I, if I haven't already said it, days of thunder are coming for you, friend. Days of thunder are coming for you. And you'll have more fun and more money than you know what to do with. You just got to drop the hammer. <laughs> Drop the hammer. Remember, we're giving you the keys to a fabulous, high-performance vehicle to success. We're giving you the keys to a, to a vehicle that can take you places most people only dream of. And we're giving you the knowledge of how to drive it and how to keep control. So listen, I'm coming after you. Go speed racer, go speed racer, go speed racer, go. Thank you for being on today's call, everybody. Appreciate you, love you, and we'll see you at Family Reunion. Take care and God bless and have a great day.